this is Kelly and I am an independent Norwex sales consultant and I want to talk to you a little bit today about our Norwex products and what makes our company so amazing. Um, first of all, if you don't know what Norwex is, it is, stands for the Norwegian Experience and it started in Norway and it's in multiple different companies now, uh, but the founder, Bjorn, he wanted to find a solution to getting bugs off of his vehicle and they started and created a product called the Little Red Cloth and that started a movement essentially just cleaning with water and that started and rolled into a whole new sphere of, of cleaning products. So now it is in multiple company, multiple countries uh, and Norwex has, it has thousands and thousands of consultants everywhere but I'm happy to be one of them now and so I wanted to show you some of my favorite products and kind of explain to you what makes them so special. Um, so basically the first product that Norwex ever made is was the little red cloth um, but we now have the enviro cloth which is essentially the same uh, same thing but it comes in multiple colors and it's made you know a little bit differently and if you look on the tag it says E for enviro cloth this is the, the top selling product we have and essentially if you are starting out with Norwex this is this is the cloth to start with Basically, it is made out of these teeny tiny microscopic fibers and all these little microscopic fibers, they are so thin that to be classified as microfiber, uh, other products that are called microfiber, they are one sixth of the size. If you cut your hair lengthwise, they are one sixth of that size uh, as far as being microscopic and that's what makes microfiber. Um, but for Norwex microfiber, we have one two hundredths of a strand of hair, and that's that's much, much thinner, much, much smaller, and when they thread it all together, it creates a wonderful product that uh, basically mechanically cleans very well. And also, um, with Norwex, there's a couple different ways of cleaning. Um, we focus on mechanical cleaning, and that's essentially um, an alternative to either chemically cleaning or thermally cleaning. So all these little microscopic microfibers, they <laughs> they are bunched together and they want to they grab everything like a rake. If you have a rake with lots of thick tines and you have one with smaller tines, the smaller tines and the smaller microfiber are going to collect everything uh, much easier. And then also with our backlock products, backlock is basically silver that's embedded in the microfiber. So when they make the microfiber, they are chopping up the little particles and melting it down and making them these tiny microscopic threads but there is silver added so that silver is called our backlock technology and you'll see that on every every cloth that has uh, the backlock technology will say backlock on it and so once you get that cloth wet the silver that's inside of the backlock or inside of the microfiber will help basically purify that cloth from any bacteria. Um, so when you get it wet, you dry it, you hang it, it is, it's essentially gonna get rid of any of that bacteria inside and that way you can reuse it over and over and it's not gonna get as stinky and musty smelling um, versus a regular microfiber cloth. Plus it's gonna do a much better job cleaning um, and getting all those tiny particles. So this is our, our number one product, it's called our EnviroCloth. And this is basically, you can use this everywhere. You can use it on wood, you can use it on laminate, you can use it on tile, your walls. These for everything, for EnviroCloth. Um, and then we want to pair your EnviroCloth with our window cloth. This is our second most popular <laughs> item. And the two of them together are our basic package. So if you're starting somewhere, you want to start with these two together. Um, the window cloth is basically just like the EnviroCloth. It's got those really tiny, densely woven fibers, but it's a little bit smaller, um, smaller weave. So it's gonna be better. That we call this the pea purple polishing cloth. Um, when you clean with your Enviro cloth, anything shiny, you come back and you shine up the surface with our purple polish cloth. When you have chrome or jewelry, um, if you've got lights, uh, glass, anything shiny. This is amazing on to really make it sparkle and shine. So this is the, the purple polish cloth. So when I started using Norwex, I started by cleaning my windows. So I have the Enviro cloth. I clean everything with the grime and 
get all the dirt off, and then I come back and clean this, and I don't have to use paper towels anymore. Um, I don't have to use window cleaner anymore. Essentially, these two cloths can clean my entire house, my windows inside and out, plus my mirrors, like in my bathroom, um, any of my posters, or, any, or not posters, my frames and stuff on the wall, anything that's shiny there, um, my sink faucets, bath, bathroom faucets, anything like that. Love these two cloths together. That's the perfect starting spot if you've never used Norwex. So, and also with the Enviro cloth, I didn't mention it, but um, this is so super absorbent. Um, all of our cloths are very absorbent that it can pick up a lot of water. So if you have a heavy duty job and you have to pick up a lot of water, this is the cloth you want. And then if you move on, we move on to our dusting mitt. This is also that same microfiber with the backlock technology with the silver in it, just like the other two. And this is a little bit just more plush. Um, so how the dusting mitt works is static electricity. So when you're dusting, um, you're gonna just go and swipe your hand on that dust and it's gonna collect into the glove. And it's not gonna release it into the air um, where before when I would clean, then I have the big wandy cleaners. <laughs> First of all, I had to buy new ones all the time. This thing lasts forever because you can just stick it in the wash and wash it when, when um, once it gets dirty enough. Um, but in general day use, you just it's perfect for like little knickknacks if you've got shelves. Um, anything you need a dust, it's gonna collect that. And then when you're done, you can um, just basically we use our rubber brush and we like to swipe it into our garbage can or you can take it outside. Um, but it's static electricity and if you have two of them you can rub them together you can rub it kind of on itself but basically that electricity really picks up all that dust and that way it's not floating in the air and you're not sneezing while you're cleaning and then we love the rubber brush for <laughs> for helping get this clean on um, in between uses and then once it's dirty enough you can just put it in your wash and um, clean it and it's fresh and new again um, like last time when i was done i cleaned it with my wash just in the laundry and then it was ready for the next time. Um, and then one other um, tip with this is if you get it wet, if you soak it, you wring it out, get some water, and then you are ready to use it, basically take your, after you're done cleaning your windows, go on your screens and wipe all your screen gunk off. So if you do one side with one screen and then the other side with the other screen, it is great to get all that screen gunk off from the inside or outside. And that way your windows are even even sparklier when you look through and you can see everything so that is our dusting mitt um our third product it, or fourth product is our cleaning paste now this is our sample jar it actually comes in a, a full-size jar this is just a little sample i have and so what the cleaning paste is it's a little kind of a chalky paste inside and you can take your enviro cloth um, we have a, what we call our spear sponge this is excellent when you need a little bit more grit uh, to clean. If you need um, just a little bit more elbow grease, and um, they call it the elbow grease in the jar. So our cleaning paste is great. Um, the most common use if, is if you have a stove and it has a glass top, um, if you take a little cleaning paste and either uh, in the virus sponge or if you need, if you have it really caked on, grab our spirit sponge. If you scrub that and just use a little paste, it's amazing. It just takes all those little rings of grease and water rings and, you know, if you boil your pot over on that glass, glass is amazing to have this to clean. Um, or if you have anything else in your house, um, this is amazing to get a little bit more oomph <laughs> for cleaning. Um, and then as far as washing all of your microfiber, we have our Norwex Ultra Power Plus, AKA UPP, and this is our laundry detergent. It is a powder detergent, um, and if you don't like powder, we do have a liquid form available. So this is the little scoop it comes in, um, but nobody I know ever uses this full scoop. This, um, since Norwex is multi-country, you know, we are all over the world, some water um, is really hard, some machines are not very great. If you have an HE machine, a high, uh, or oops, HE machine, like me, um, hang on, HE machine, uh, I only use this tiny little scoop. Some people use a quarter of a teaspoon. Some people use a teaspoon. Um, I use between a teaspoon and two teaspoons on my loads. And I've already gotten, this is my personal bag, so I've already gotten over 25 loads done with this. And it's 
it's only maybe like here. Each bag, a uh, two pound bag is about um, 100 loads. Now, sometimes it varies on, on water softeners and you know what's in your water and how your machine works. There are instructions on the back of the bag as far as using it. So we love to use this, um, especially for our microfiber, but we use it for all of our, our um, clothes now and our bed, bedding and everything. Um, I found out that it it doesn't have any fillers in it, so all those stuff that were in my previous laundry detergents, they were really affecting my skin. Um, any of the scented stuff, it was um, really making me break out, and I, was, I had to find some gentle free and clear stuff, and that worked pretty well, but this does amazing. Um, if, if you look at the ingredients, it's, it's crazy how much stuff um, can get on your skin and then on your clothes and like for your pets and your kids and stuff and um, and then you're wearing it all day long. I didn't realize until I switched to a couple different kinds and then ultimately um, when I started using Norwex I started using our product and it's been the best one so far. It's just there's nothing um, that cakes on anything. So, so that is kind of our basic set. Um, it, this is called our basic package which just been better popped in the window cloth and that's if you've never used norwex i would start there um, if you add this this is our household package with the the dusting mitt um, if you want the cleaning paste and the detergent that is our safe haven five um, anybody who wants to start using norwex um, i would start with the safe haven five because that that's going to kind of cover all your bases um, and then we've got several other products um, i'm going to talk about so in our kitchens this is like basically a mini Enviro cloth. This is called our kitchen cloth. Um, a lot of people want to have different um, Enviro cloths for different areas of their house, um, whether for their kitchen, their bathroom, whatever. Um, this is just like the Enviro cloth on one side with the same weave. And then on this side, it's got a textured weave. So it's great for picking up crumbs, um, for wiping down your cabinets. I use this every day in my house after we clean or I do dishes, whatever, and I need to wipe down something. It's a little bit smaller than the Enviro cloth, so it's gonna dry a little bit quicker. Um, but like for your heavy duty projects, stick with the Enviro cloth. For your kind of your lighter cleanings, the kitchen cloth um, will do a great job. And I, like I said, I use it every day and then I just hang it uh, over my little rack to dry. Um, all of our tag, all of our cloths have these wonderful tags in them, um, like this one right here. This is the kitchen towel. It's basically the same as the kitchen cloth, but it's longer. Um, so if you want to hang this over, you can hang it this way. You can hang it by the cloth and loop it through the loop. Um, if you hang this in your house, this is great for drying your hands. But my favorite use is for drying um, dishes and whatnot. It's, you can do a whole load with just this one towel. It's super absorbent, uh, just like the Enviro cloth, but the weave is a little bit different. The texture is a little bit different, and it comes in a little bit different colors too. So, kind of an alternative, um, just for keeping in your, you know, maybe your kitchen. Um, that way, you've got some designated. Um, we have our counter cloths. Um, these, you'll see. This is the size of the paper towel, and if we take the two together, they're about the same size. This, I didn't realize how much I would love this product. Um, anywhere you use a paper towel, like when you are eating every meal or if you're using napkins, I've swapped over to using our counter cloths. These are a little bit smaller size. They have that pretty um, weavy texture where they do absorb quite a bit, but they're smaller, so um, they're not quite, they don't take as long to dry. So anytime we're using napkins, so we eat a meal and then you would normally use a napkin or a paper towel. We have swapped over to these counter cloths to, in place of our napkins, and we haven't had to buy paper towels and napkins for so long. Um, and then when you're done, after every meal, you can just take it. Uh, I usually put a little drop of dishwasher detergent or dishwasher soap on here, and I just do a light scrub, and then when I'm done, I hang it over its little house to dry. Um, you can get them just without the house, they come in packs of three, um, or when you get the house, you can get the whole set. There's a couple different color options now, um, but they're much more absorbent to, than paper towels, so you are gonna save yourself a lot of paper towels just with one counter cloth, um, and it just kind of changes your whole, <laughs> your whole way of doing things when you're eating. So 
that's super easy. Um, when you are done, you know, say once you've got it used and you've used it several times, then you stick it in the wash and you dry it. All of our Norwex can be hung to dry and then anything that gets wet can be hung up and dried. And then that back lock is going to basically help they call it self-purifying, which is essentially just getting rid of any of the bacteria so you don't have to launder it every single time. But then as soon as, you know, they're still cleaning products, so every time you get to the point where it's dirty enough, then, then you want to launder it. We usually launder ours every week or two weeks, depending on, you know, what we're using them for and how often we're using them. So, um, also for our kitchen, if you have a sponge um, <laughs> I, and you're still using sponges from the grocery store, I definitely recommend you, you use one of these two products. This is our Spiro sponge, which is very similar to a, a typical sponge, but when you sit it out to dry, in, um, after you're done cleaning your dishes, whatever, or your counters if you want to, um, it's not going to get funky and stinky and smelly like, like the regular dishes, dish um, sponges. Um, also, we've got our netted dishcloth, which this is light, you can see it's see-through, it's got these little holes in it. It, <laughs> it looks funny and it gets a little, it takes a while to get used to, um, but you can use it as a sponge. The way I use it for dishes is I just crumple it up in a ball, I put a drop of dish soap on it or dish dishwasher liquid, and then that sets up really well. So a little drop of soap, if you've got this, will go a long way um, because it'll keep sudsing and you can use it on several pots or pans or dishes and then every so many, you can put another drop on it. Um, if you're going through this very quickly, you're probably not using it um, correctly, or, or you know, or if, or you're not letting the, the, the little bits of suds do its job. So this is amazing also for, um, like I use it for cleaning my dishes, and then if I need to um, cut uh, like potatoes, so you can put it on in your sink, and then you know, get your potatoes, peel your potatoes, and get all those little peels in there, and then I basically use it like a strainer. It's great for the strainer. Um, I've used it for beans. Um, people like to use it for corn on the cob to get all that um, little hairs off. Um, there are so many uses for this. And then when you're done, uh, you can fold it up or put it on your sink to dry, you know, in the middle or a rack, or if you've got somewhere you wanna hang it. Um, but then once uh, it gets to the point where you feel like it might need an actual cleaning between the self cleanings, you want to put it in the top of your dishwasher. Just lay it flat on the top, and when it comes out, it's going to be nice and fresh and clean, just like you can used it. Um, we do have a little porcelain organizer, which is great. Um, you can put your stuff in there. People use these all over the house. Let me hold it up for you so you can see. Um, it comes with this little cup. If you want to separate the cup, um, and then it comes, you can take this off if you want, um, and then this little porcelain part you can use for multiple different things. Um, some people they use them in their kitchens for like I have this little sponge here and um, you can hang your counter cloth. If you have another counter cloth you can hang that on there. You can use this for drinking. It is a cup. Some people like to use it as you know like a sink organizer um, where other people like to use it as a desk organizer and they put their pencils and eyeglasses and their phone on the side um, or they put they hang um, you know their charging cord over here. So there's so many different uses, sometimes um, in the bathroom with your soap, um, you know, all of your facial products, whatever, they go in there too. There's so many products. <laughs> that one's a, a hot product this year. Um, one of my very favorite products, which I never really knew about, um, was the chenille hand towel, um, where you can use the kitchen towel as a, as a hand towel, but like in your bathrooms, I have this one in my kitchen. Um, it's got these little chenille bumps and they're so, so soft. Um, that it basically just wicks away any water from your hands. As soon as you're done washing your hands, um, this is amazing. It comes in different designs, and it also has some different um, little animal themes, where if you have a kid, that's called the kid's pet to dry, and that will, uh, that's like for them, you can hang it on the rack, it's not gonna fall off because you can loop it, you can loop it around. Um, so I have one in my kitchen, and then, I mean, most people have them in their bathrooms, or you know, if they have a kid, they'll put it kind of down low where the kid can grab it and get all their little grimy hands clean. So, um, so as far as bathroom and hand care, this is so soft, so amazing. Um, and then we have our face and body cloths. These come in a pack of three, and it's one of those products that, um, as soon as I started using it, I could tell a difference right away. Um, but it's basically made out of our same 
plush microfiber. Um, one side um, is a little bit um, more like our Enviro cloth, but a little bit softer. And then the other side's even more plush. So um, depending on your skin type, this is great for ha um, getting rid of any of your facial cleaners. And it, what you do is you just put it under warm water every night. I've, I've started using this every single night with my face and I can tell a huge difference because it cleans my face really well. Um, I can also take off any makeup and you know get my whole face clean. Um, and it leaves my skin feeling so soft and it also is wonderful. Like say you have, like if you're like me, I don't, I've tried lots of different skincare products and I still have acne really bad. So this is, you just use water. You don't need to have soaps or, you know, other exfoliator products um, or, you know, lotions to get everything off. Any special, I've, I've tried more. So, <laughs> but this I could tell a big difference. When I started using this, I kept asking my husband, I'm like, feel my face after I was done and it was dry. I was like, it's so soft, it feels so good. And my skin started clearing up right away. Um, just because it, and then, you know, it's shut, not that big, so it dries by the next time you need to use it. They come in a pack of three. Um, so if you use one cloth up to every two days for your face, um, or if you want to use one in the shower, a lot of people use them more as like a, almost like a loofah. Um, you can shave um, without shaving products. Uh, it's goofy, but if you shave your legs, this kind of helps exfoliate and gets the hair up. And then girls, you can shave your legs or guys, you know, you can use it on your, your face. Um, we also sell a baby pack, so it's the same thing, but they're just a little bit smaller and softer, where people like to use them as baby wipes. Um, it's just so gentle on their little baby skin. So, um, as far as bathroom products, those are amazing. And then, what really sold me on Norwex, I used the Enviro cloth and window cloth starting out. Loved them, loved them, loved them. And then, I started using the Enviro cloth, and we had what an old product that we called the Blue Diamond Bathroom Cleaner. Um, and now it looks it looks like this. It's got a different packaging, but it's it's actually the same. It's just more pretty in a prettier package. This is just a sample size because I still have my old bottle. Um, and I use that with my Enviro cloth, and I clean my whole bathroom. And that's what really, really, really sold me on the company. Um, I love that I could use the products, and they weren't fumy like my other products I had been using. And my cats, I didn't have to worry about them walking in. And you know, if I had kids, which I don't, but if I did. You know they're not toxic so they could be running around I can get it on my hands and not worry that it's gonna corrode my hands um, or that I'm gonna start gagging or sneezing from all the fumes that is you know one of my very favorite products because that's really what um, what sold me on the safety and just like the bio friendly of everything everything's more natural more eco-friendly uh, everything that comes you know in our bottles our detergents anything that we use more than just the water it's all safe for your septics and it's bio-friendly so um, you'll see um, there's so many different ways that Norwex likes to if you see this little sticker Norwex likes to um, you know be eco-friendly so um, a big mission of the company is reducing plastic and and waste and chemical waste and everything so if you see that little st a little part that said ocean bound plastic that's just one of the many ways they take plastic from the ocean or that's headed towards the ocean and they get it beforehand um, and they essentially melt that down and clean it and reuse it um, into our packaging um, and everything in our packaging is recyclable from the packing tape the packing materials um, you can see these are cardboard that come on these packs um, even the bubble wrap, um, there's some green, <laughs> green and clear bubble wrap. It's all recyclable. So just another, there's so many ways I love the company, the more they have a great um, mission and the core values. So if you look those up, they're wonderful. Um, oh, and I was going to show you, these are our mini Enviro cloths. They come in a little travel pack. So if you want to designate ones just for the bathroom or just for this area or that area per person, uh, or you can take them with you, put them in your purse or put them in your car. A lot of people like them in the car to wipe down things or to have kind of as their own napkins um, or the counter claws to have in their car. So lots of different options, color options. Um, and then the last thing, the last couple things I want to show you has to do with our mop. This is our amazing mop. It is a telescopic mop and I'm going to put this down a little bit so you can see. Um, you can see the mop in action, hopefully. So. Um, <laughs> It's hard to see. So uh, I'm stepping on the mop now. It's got this adjustable 
base. So if you just twist it with one hand, it goes up and down. I like to put it right, you know, right above my head, and then I tighten it. Um, you can adjust it if you're tall or short. Um, and then it's got this little base that moves. Um, you can lock it. There's a little lock button. If you're, if you want it to stay straight, you can push this little knob, and that way it won't go back and forth. And then the mop itself, we've got a couple different mop heads. So first we've got our dry mop head. This is perfect. It's essentially like sweeping. It's before you mop, you want to get up all that um, dirt and grime and stuff. And this also uses kind of the static electricity um, charge, just like we did for the dusting bit. And then when you're using it, this is how the mop works. When you use the mop pad, you put the pad on the ground, and then you just pop it on there. It's got Velcro. And then when you're using it, you want to make a small figure eight pattern. And this is going to pick up any of your dirt, your hair, um, any of your little grimes. It's mechanically cleaning. So then if I show you, I haven't, I haven't swept my floor for a week. Look, and it shows. You can see, well, you can kind of see that. I just did a small area. So then when you're ready, you take it for your trash, take a little rubber brush, and you're going to clean off half of it, flip it around, clean off the other half, and then you boom, you're done, keep going. So that's um, for dry cleaning. Now when I take it off, there's a couple ways. Some people just peel it off with their, their um, fingers. I just like to grab it, take it up, and it's ready to go. So we also have a chenille mop head. This is my favorite. So this is really great for pet hair, um, and I have long hair, I shed a lot. So this is wonderful for picking up hair and big pieces. Um, and if you don't have pets, you probably don't need this. I would just stick with the regular dry mop. Um, but this is a wonderful alternative. I have lots of cats and dogs and stuff that come through here, so it's wonderful there. So when you're ready to actually, you know, wet mop, and mechanically clean, let me pop this back up here so you can see it first. Um, this is our wet mop pad, and you see it's got the back lock just like, just like everything else. It's also got a tag. All of them have tags. And it says on here too, it says um, damp wet. So if you're confused about what colors um, go with what, it says right on here. One's, the other one says dry, this one says damp wet. And what I like to do is on my tile floors, I will get it wet under the sink, and then I will just roll it, kind of wring it out. It's very flexible. It's not very stiff. I thought it would be stiff when I first got it, but it's, it's really flexible. Um, you wring it out, and then that way it's just slightly damp. Um, or what I do on my laminate floor is I just take a little spritz of bottle and I just spritz it down. So you can use whatever, whatever way works for you, but just to demo, I wanted to show you the wet. And that way you kind of just see it in action a little bit. You just pop it down, stick your little mop on there, and then you can go around, you can see. And if you've got a spot, you know, I just kind of scrub it a little bit more. So, so that way you can see how the mop works. And if you notice, anytime you're mopping or drying, if you put your mop at an angle and you leave this little flexi part, it's great because then you can get your baseboards. Oops. There we go. Well, it's, the, it's too wet now, but, <laughs> but it's perfect for dry mopping when you are getting your baseboards clean and dusting them. I should probably show you that instead, but the same thing with the mop. Um, it'll pop up on the edge and then it'll actually dust your, the edges. And then the, the wet mop can go back and kind of clean it. So I'm in a little odd little corner of my kitchen. But, and then I'm going to show you, you basically just take the same thing when you, if you need to clean, say you're, you still have some gunk. If you need to clean any of that gunk or hair off that's picked up in addition, same thing. Um, and then with, <laughs> with the mop, I do the same thing as I do with the wet mop. I step on it, pull it up. I mean, it comes off really easy. And then here's the wet mop. So leave that down there until I can bring that up. So with the mops, you know, when they get dirty, if you want to take them in your sink, rip, uh, wash them out and wring them out, um, then you can hang them to dry and you don't have to wash them every time. But some people like to wash them every time they use them. It's completely personal preference. And 
Um, or if you want to do it every every couple weeks, every week, it's whenever it gets dirty and up you feel, it can go in the washer and dryer too. Um, all of our products can go in the washer and dryer. I like to use our, our regular laundry detergent. Um, if you don't have our laundry detergent, I highly recommend you using um, something that's filler free. So you just don't want to use anything with um, fabric softener because that's going to clog up all those tiny little microfibers. Um, and you also don't want to use bleach um, because that's going to damage the microfiber and kind of break it down. Um, and then the only other thing you don't want to use is dryer sheets. Um, dryer sheets kind of leave a little coating um, whenever you use dryer sheets and you feel that on your clothes and it's, you know, it's got that really kind of silky soft. That's actually kind of just leaving a little wax coating on there. So with our microfiber, you just want to take care of them the best you can. Um, and if you can avoid using the dryer sheets, um, we usually use um, the dryer balls uh, that we sell. They're, they're, um, they're three little wool balls and you put them in there and that helps fluff your, your clothes and everything um, and your microfiber. And that way you don't have as much static too if you can use that instead of dryer sheets. Um, it's a little bit eco-friendlier too rather than dryer sheets. So um, one last thing to show you besides the mop, if you take off your mop base, we have a, one more product that I want to show you, and this is called our Enviro Wand. Now, our Enviro Wand it is great for dusting. Um, it's bendable, so you can move it around. You can reach up and get, you know, some of those taller spaces. You can go up above. I can go up above my cabinets here. If you want to get behind, um, you know, say your refrigerator or your TV, and or you're trying to go underneath a uh, cabinet or something and you don't want to use your mop, you don't have a mop, this is great to reach really far. It's, it's quite long, so you can reach quite a bit just by, with, by itself. Um, if you have a really long house, or like a tall house with eaves and just a really big archway, um, what we like to do is we put it on, we take the little base, we're gonna put it on our mop. So we take the little base off and it goes right on our mop base. It just snaps right on there. There we go. And this is basically like a super long mop or reacher, <laughs> a super long duster now. So, and you can still adjust that mop. So, you know, if you uh, twist it this way, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter if you want to reach under something shorter. So it's just super bendable, flexible, extendable, lots of bowls. Um, but that is our Enviro wand. And with Enviro wand, when you're done, you can just pull that off and pop that in the wash as well. So it can all be cleaned and then this little thing doesn't get washed, but it just sits inside and you can, you can get different sleeves for it, different colors and everything too. Um, and then when you're done, you can put your mop base back on or you can leave it off if you prefer to just dust. You can do that. And then one thing with the mop head um, or the mop base is it's got two cool thing, cool features. This is a great little ball. It's, it's circle around. So when you're making your little figure eights, it just glides back and forth. You don't have to move your wrists. And then um, if you have like a scuff or something on your floor, this is great at rubbing those little scuff marks out. Um, and then this little dually dad here, it's wonderful for cleaning against the cabinet or the sink. And that way it's not falling down every time you go to use it. So that is about everything. We do have one more product that I do love and it's called their Lint Mitt. I work with animals a lot. And if you work with animals or you have cats or something, dogs, if they have that fluffy fur, it's wonderful for just, you know, wiping down uh, the hair. And you'll see it's got two different sides. One goes one way, one goes the other way when you're going like down, or you can flip it and go up, however you want to reach. And then when you're done, you basically just wipe the hair off and then it'll collect and you can throw that away. Um, so that is also great for getting rid of um, your reusable products, or, or not your reusable, your, <laughs> the ones that you can't recyclable. So your once only, your disposable products. So this will help save on um, having to do lots of those sticky rollers and stuff like that. So if that can't get it done, the rubber brush will get done. So say you have something on your furniture and your dog hair, it's not super fluffy, then the rubber brush is excellent for cleaning, you know, cat trees and furniture and stuff, not just for cleaning Norwex products. All of our products have multiple uses and we use them for all sorts of different things in our house. So anyway, that is 
a lot of my Norwex, and I will hope this isn't too long. If you're still with me, that's amazing. Thank you for sticking around. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. We still have a lot of other products that I haven't showed you, um, and I would love to help you if you have any questions um, with how to use it or how to care for it. Um, if you have any questions at all, I want you to know what you're using it for um, and not just be confused or just buy something because you think it might be cool <laughs> or just because I told you so. Um, I want you to understand how it works, um, what the benefits of it are. If something doesn't work, you might need another um, another tool or something different depending on um, if you're working with like brush steel or stone. Um, we have some different products that work better for, for certain purposes. So. Uh, again, my name is Kelly, and I'm an independent Norwex consultant, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.